Hello lovers, it's Marriage Monday. I told you guys I'll be bringing Marriage Monday in video format as I promised and here we are and today we'll be discussing one of my favorite topics, Mama Zala and I. Yes, mother-in-law and I. Chats that are needed, chats that are necessary. You know when we get married we always have issues um, with our in-laws, with our mother-in-laws and we don't know why, we don't know the reasoning, we don't know how we could get better or what we're doing wrong and I'm privileged enough to have the most gorgeous and most beautiful woman um, with me today discussing this important topic, that being my mother-in-law, my heart. And I'm very fortunate and I just wanted to bring that to you in my kitchen. And you know, women always discuss such issues over coffee or tea in the kitchen. So enjoy. I told you my mother-in-law she's on my channel today guys she's i don't know i think i'm very privileged to be having such chats with her and this is umama my mom but also known to everybody else as Uma Meshomakulu, mrs Meshomakulu, senior guys senior and mom Thank you for being on my channel. Welcome, welcome. Are you excited? Yes, I am excited. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I pulled the last stick. I'm like, Mom, I need you. I need you. Do you have this top? Because we always sit in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. And we always have this chat. And you're always advising me. And I can, be, I can be pretty stubborn, right? With a lot of things. But I think this year, six years in, you've helped me. You've groomed a lot of me. Because I think you need to mature. Mm -hmm. as you if you especially if you're going to take a step like marriage and going yes. to deal with in-laws and anyway let's get let's get into it mom i have an important question to ask okay what tell me about the mother and son relationship it is something special but what i like with my boys i groom them like girls yeah so they can know how to cook, how to do everything for themselves. Oh. That's how I groom them, to be themselves. Because sometimes we, we, we mothers, we tend to spoil our, our boys. They mustn't do anything. Yeah. I must do everything for them. But mine, I taught mine to do everything, to prepare them for their houses, for yeah. their home, yeah. for their families. That is not only the... The, the mother yeah. or the wife should do everything in the house. So, yes, that attachment is there. Yeah. But another thing that I think that makes me is, is for my boys, they were only two boys and they were growing the same time. And they went, they went to school, they went to work. And when they started working, I didn't take their money. Sure. Because that's a problem. Sure. Because if to, you took your son to school and took your son to, to work, now he must work for you. Black no, tax. Mm. No, that's not right. Mm. But we told them, we don't need your money. Mm. Save your money for your future. Because we can take care of ourselves. Sure, I know that's a lot of... I, I mean, you know, a lot of women... When we get married, um, I have to do everything. Like, literally, Ngati, I am going to Kulisa Banto and I'm going to raise the children. I'm going to clean the house. I'm going to cook. Yeah, now he must just go out to Vele and work and come back and then throw his clothes everywhere. And it's like, I'm here to almost like just be another helper, even though we have a helper. And you saying that, I guess it comes from Kulisa, how you raise mm. your boys. So that's a note to me. Uncle Luliba must teach him to clean up the, himself. Yes. To take care of himself. Yes. And it's a, for me, it's a big factor. And I know a lot of women are struggling. And, but what if you're married to somebody who wasn't raised like we had? I think you can't change a person. Yeah. It's only God who can change a person. Sure. You can't change somebody who's got amazinho, teeth, mm. full in the design, which is change. Yeah. So it's only God who can change that. And now, by asking, not forcing, 
Sure. Asking, please help me with that and that. And sure. That. Because at the time, you'll, you'll force somebody to do things that he doesn't want. He won't do it. But if you are asking and praying about it, yeah. then God, will, God is going to help you. So my thing is, a lot of mother-in-laws are attached. They can't detach from their children. He gets married and she's calling every day. She's saying, come, Ozong Caesar, come do this. If you do, you must do for me. If you, whatever you do for your wife, you must do for me as well. Um, they, have, they have really demanding um, or expectations from umakot. Like when you come into a family, let's say I came in and I can't cook. And all of a sudden I'm demanded to cook. And when I do try my best and they're not happy things are said about me how do, does one deal with such you know and how does my quote firstly is how does one deal with such when they come into a family where so much is expected of them but she can't cook she comes from a family where she can't cook she didn't cook she came from a family where there were there were helpers around she was there's always begatlina but now so many things are expected from her from Mama Zala. And even maybe if he's got sisters or brothers, those things are expected. How should one handle herself in that situation? I think it, it, it depends to you as a person, yeah. as a Magoti. When you come to my house to join the family, if the, the, best, the best, best, best medicine is for you to be in friendship with your mother-in-law. Sure. You must become friends. I don't care who says what. Because this woman, both of you, like that's what my mother-in-law told me. That Laga Metromakul. Sure. Me and you. We are here in mm. So we should treat one another as sister. Younger mm. sister and the older sister. That's deep. Because those guys from Metromakul, even the there's girls from Metromakul, they are Metromakul. Me and you, we are outsiders. Sure. We must sure. try to be clean together. Sure. Because I'm your mother now. Mm. That's what the Bible said. You must leave your mother. Now we are going to somewhere where they, they are cleaning the house. At 6 o'clock in the morning, the yeah. house must be clean. Yeah. 3 o'clock, the person. You, I think when you go there to your, to your mother-in-law, go with an open heart. Okay. With the mind that I'm going to learn. Yeah. With the mind that I'm going to be taught mm. how to cook Islam, mm. how to do Itombol, how to do Umkombot. Sure. Even if you're a Christian, there are things that, that you must do. Mm. Mm. You can't say, no, I'm a Christian, I don't do Umkombot. I, I, I was a Christian. Mm. I went to the Meshomakulus. The Meshomakulus, they are not Christians. Mm. They are people who do their things. They are Amasi, Goab, and whatever. Mm. Mm. I'm thankful for my granny because he taught me. That whatever they are doing there, you must do, but they mustn't touch your connection with God. Sure. Doing mkomboti, it, it doesn't take you away from God. Because mkomboti is just a bread and whatever. You can do, as you do it, you are praying for it. Yeah, that's deep. As you are cleaning their house, we are praying for it. God is there. Mm. Your mother-in-law is there. As I taught you, Lib, mm. you came to my house being a child. Mm. You are, my, you are my first daughter. Mm. First, uh, 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 Makoti. Mm. I taught you from A to Z. And I asked God, God, help me to teach this one. Sure. Because me and her, we came to this house as the Makotis. Yeah. They've paid Lobola for me. We've paid Lobola for you. So we are outsiders. So we must cling together. We must hold each other. We must not disappoint each other. Yes, you, my boy is there, but you are important to me because you are the one that you must, when I'm sick, you are the one that you must wash me. Yeah, that is, that is, for me now, that is very hectic, Ma, because it's like, of course, like you said, I guess, come with an open heart. Yes. Come with, an, come with a heart to learn, not a, a heart to rebel. Yes. Not a heart to go against the family. Yes. Build a friendship with yeah. your mother-in-law. That's very important. 
how do we build friendships with mother-in-laws? Do we just listen to them? Do we get to, I, for me, I got, I got to know you, the things you love, the things you like, and vice versa, you did that with me. Is that a good strategy in going into it's a it? It's good strategy, Lebo, because there's nothing that you, we can do except loving each other yeah. and understanding each other. Yeah. I liked uh, Abraham when he asked that guy, the, 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 the seven, that he must go and look for a wife. Mm to his family, yeah, not from the way he stay. Yeah. And what I like with the, is Rebecca, ne? that why is that when, that, when, I, when Rebecca saw that seven, the seven yeah. has prayed that God, that person must be able to give me some water. Mm. And Rebecca went there and gave the, this man water and 12 camel. Mm. And can you imagine camels, each one, it, drinks 200 liters of water, but she managed to, 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 to feed those uh, things. And those came in, they represent your, your in-laws. Sure. Those 12 came in, they represent your family. Sure. Your, your family, the, your in-laws. There is this one, and he's a tranker, he'll swear at you. There's a brother-in-law that won't love you. Mm. There's this one. And what must you do? You must try and feed him. With love. Oh my God, that needs a lot them. of God. That needs a lot them. of Jesus. Th th that's what it is. And there's nothing mm. that will move you. That Your husband will be so, so proud of you. If you and your, and your me and you, if we are together. Your husband, and, and it will save your marriage. Yeah. Even if your husband is going aside, the family will stand said, not about label. Brianda, they will fight for you. That's what my mother did. So I'm expecting that for you. So, mom, my question is then, um, did your relationship with your mother-in-law impact how you are towards me? Yes. And we, it's three of us. That's how she did it for, for us, all of us. She taught us to be united as this woman that came in with the marriage to the Mishra Makul. What type of woman was she? She was a powerful woman. That woman, she was powerful. She raised five kids on his, on her own. Yeah, that's, that is powerful. And she knew how this family is. Yeah. You know, this, the, 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 especially the lady, the girls from the Metro Makul, they've got this strong character, yes. this bully character, yeah. all of them. But she taught us how to deal with them. Mom. She taught us how to deal with them. And even today, they are still proud of us. All of them, all the family, they are still proud of the Makotis from Mr. Makul. That's what I wanted from you, Lebo. Uh -huh. I want you to learn that so that you can teach Lebo's wife. Mm. Mm. So that you can teach Le You know what? Don't come with the, with, with, to the marriage. The other ladies, the, the other people, they come to the marriage because of your friends, yeah. in-laws, they yeah. are like this. So you take those things from the, that family yeah. and come and impose it to your family. Mm. You came alone. God chose you, yeah. not with your friend or yeah. whatever. She chose you to go to that family. Mm. I believe that if you get married, Lebo, if they pay no bola, it's because God has chosen you to that family. And you must go and represent God. You must go introduce God to that family. And you are not going to introduce God to that family by talking. Yeah. You'll be doing good. Yeah, my you actions. Your yeah. action. You close your mouth and do whatever. You know, mom, you're touching on a very important point and something that has sat with me for the longest time. And I remember I had a, an event in the backyard picnic and umam uh, was totally. And there was a girl who asked a question there and she said, I am Christian and I am married. I am married into a family of traditionalists. And my husband came back with some black black substance and said today we need to put this all over our bodies because moon is pleat or like hi i don't know how to explain it in english guys find down in the comments um so she had to put it on her body and she's like no i'm not doing this because i'm christian mm -hmm. and then she asked umam sole uguti what happens in that case and I don't want to. I don't want to lose my husband. I love him, but I don't want to compromise my faith either. And Umam's told her what to strengthen your altar. Yes. 
And I could not believe that statement. You know, you never want to hear that for, from a woman of God to say, strengthen your altar. And what that means, Guti, be steadfast in your prayer and your belief. Put that thing on. But while you put it on, pray against yes. it. Yes. That you will not harm me. Yes. You have nothing against me. Yes. Da, 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 da. And I was like, that is some crazy advice, Guti. Even in such po- uh, to save your marriage and to bring God into a family, mm-hmm. you need to strengthen your altar. Yes. And that's exactly what you're saying right yes. now, Guti. Even if we don't like certain things, yes. we just need to... Because when you, when you go there in their function, they will tell you everything has been done. What it says, what you have Yeah. But can you go? Yes, I, I was so excited. They done that to me. They, they knew that I'm a Christian. They wanted to see whether I'll say yes. And because of that, I've won them. Yeah, because most of them are Christian now. Most of them are Christian. If not, yeah. Even if they are not Christian. Yeah. But they know what kind of a Christianity I, I have. Yeah, yeah. I've, pre- I've, 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 you know, I've prepared them. Yeah. I went there. I said, you know what? I'm going there. Then took out my jersey, Nalfasala. Then I went. That's and as crazy. I'm doing it, I was praying. Said God, whoever's going to drink this mgomboti must get safe. <laughs> I went there. I mean, they, even today they know. That is why I'm saying, I can rather go and work at Matlamakulus than in my family. At my family, I don't do anything. Yeah. Because most of them are yeah. Christian. Yeah. But Metro Makulus, I'm the first one to go there. Yeah. To clean their house, to clean their mess. To, to clean their mess so that everybody... That's why we are there. We are there to clean their mess. Sure. Lebu, you must be able to clean Koli's mess. Mm. She's your sister. You must be able to clean Angela's mess. She's your brother now. Don't clean... Mpo, leave Mpo. Mm. And the mm. the people that important to you now is Leander, Koli, Tata, all the families. But mom, I must say it takes a couple. It takes years, right, to build. Because yes, it does. I mean, six years in, I can't say I'm. I'm there. I'm but learning, it and it's hard. Because yes. I, 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 I'm not going to agree to everything, and I'm not going to see eye to eye with everything, whether with Koli or with Luanda or Andy, I'm not always going to see eye to eye. And it's, a, it's, 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 it's in learning. And for me, I think my, my biggest thing would be, you, you are giving me the opportunity, the family is giving me an opportunity to grow with them. Yes. And I'm giving them an opportunity to, to grow with me. Yes. You know? Um, but so many Abu Makoti don't have that. Hmm. They don't have that privilege. Have, but, but I think with us, we, we need to portray... The reality, whatever we are, t- we are talking about, yeah, yeah. they must see it with us. We yeah. mustn't try to be smart to this side and in reality we don't do that. Yeah. Because some of the things, you, if you can see, like for instance, let, can I take you back? When the child is born at Maslamakulus, mm. they take Inkaba Yumtua yes. and burn it. Yes. In their belief, when they burn it in their yard, yeah. they want to live whenever, wherever he can go, he knows this is my home. And I don't understand that. And this is my home. Yes. It, and it, I, 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 before I used to know, I was like, why, why is it like this? But I saw it with Anati. Anati is staying with the mother. But Anati will tell you, when I want to go home, I want to go home. Mm. This is my home. Mm. Sure. This is my home. They know. Even Andile knows Andile in Kabaya Kesa, she said, Let me know lens. A pez will leg a cat a car because I mm. told Andile has got in young Araya, a middle lens with Kukok. So, is it possible then, now that you also bring this up, Ma, is it possible then, like Mina no Luanda saw, is it possible that as much as the Matlamakulis had a, a whole tradition and a whole culture, is it possible to let now our little unit? C3 at this current point, create our own way of doing things. You and dad did your way of things. And yes, it wasn't easy because you're Christian, you're coming into a non-Christian family, but you did your way of doing things. Now I'm also trying to do, or we are trying to do that. How, how that is not always re- like uh, uh, received very well. Because it's like you're coming to change things. You're coming to change things. Is that a bad thing? 
you know, you can't change people's things. Yes, as you like my friend in my house. Yeah. In Vuisile's house, yeah. there are things that they are doing at the Mesh of Makulus that we are not doing. That you guys don't do. Yes. yes. We are Christian. Yeah. Like we'll tell them that no, 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 no. You can do it in, in your house. But no, not, not against it, but not here in yeah. our house. That's where you draw a line. Yeah. Things that they are doing, like Uklabela mm. Mazos, we don't do that, those things. Yeah. They, a business brother can do that. Yeah. But we don't do that. Mm. Ne? Mm. That, I mean, and for us, if Fanyana said, I'm in Shabinkomo today, mm. Guam, mm. we won't say we won't come. Yeah. We are going there. Sure. Because we've got a warp, weapon. Mm. We will go there when we get there. When they are doing their things, a camera and talking to the animal, I'll be outside trying to cook something. Sure. And when they come back, I identify that food. These are crazy dynamics. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And everything after we certify it is good for my stomach. Sure. Even that cow that they spoke into, I certify it in Jesus' name. It's been satisfied. And I eat it. So last but least, how do we then maintain the respect? How do we... I got how we grow the relationship. How do we maintain the respect, even though we are not? There's a there's a makoti out there or a bride out there, a wife who's mistreated by her in-laws. How how does she maintain her level of calm and respect? The level of calm and respect level it comes to if you are there to build. Yeah, you'll be calm. Yeah. Uzobegezela, angi shugu tubegezela, ugutu shawe or in. Yeah. Uyobegezela, angi shugu tu, and even at Metro Makulus, it's not everyone that loves me. Mm. Some of them, they don't. Mm. But by the grace of God. Yeah. By humbling myself. I not, I know I'm not, I'm not be there, I won't be there mm. for two days. Or yeah. And I'm here for that 15 minutes. If you don't love me, it's up to you. Me, I'm, I'm here to do what I'm doing, then I'm going to my house. Sure. So humble yourself and ask God to help you. Our God is so faithful to help us. I'm so proud to have the Makoti like you. Yes! Did you hear that, guys? I've taught you everything, Lebu. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> oh, my mom. Don't disappoint me. I've taught you everything. We are friends. We are yeah. there. So if that Rebecca able to drink to to to, to feed that, that camel, yeah. camel with yeah. water. I think you can be able because there's people with different characters yeah. in the in-laws. Mm. Sometimes it can be your father in law. Mm. He's very rude and whatever, but you have to respect him. Sure. Even if he's drunk or what, mm. but you have to respect me. He's your father in law. Even if if it was me try drinking liquor and whatever, you have to respect me. Sure. Because I'm your mother in law. Then you'll gain the favor from your husband. Guys. Your husband will love you. I, I, I am, yeah, in awe of our conversations all the time. And thank you, mom, for sharing. Not just with me again, but with everybody out there, with every married woman and women that want to get married. Guys, did you hear my mom? Like, that was a mouthful. And what I took away from it is build a strategy of friendship. Mm. Get to know what she loves, what she likes. That will give her the interest to know what you like and love. And also strengthen your altar. Mm. Strengthen your, 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 your belief system, yes. um, your, your walk with Christ, with God. Yes. And I mean, as hard as it is, feed those camels. Mm. Let them drink that that water, even though you may not like it. Like, I think we've all been in those instances. I am not perfect myself. I have. And I'm still learning. Till this day, there are days I tell my husband, I'm like, this is too much. And I'm learning, you know. And I'm so glad to share this with you. And thank you so much, mommy. It's love you too, birds. Guys, find me on Instagram at Lady Love Bug One here on YouTube. Um, at Meshuma Cools, we have a new segment called Marriage Monday. So find Marriage Monday every Monday. And I hope to take you through so many topics this year. I love you guys and love each other, choose each other. Remember, love is becoming and love is choosing. Don't forget to follow, like that 
subscribe button click that subscribe button then the notification bell so you can catch our videos blah, 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 blah. love you guys love thank you, you mom Bye.